most of the brands that advertise on on television and in outdoor and so on, they've got a an addressable market that's of a scale that buying mass media means that you have very little wastage. I often use insurance as the example for this, where in general insurance, you're selling car insurance and home insurance and your target market is people with cars and people with houses or people who might have a car or a house in the future. And so your wastage on TV is very, very small. And there's not a lot of point in putting effort into reducing that wastage. Like you, the best thing to do is just go for everyone. So, so that's one side of it, right? But there's a whole lot of companies um, who have a much smaller share of the market. And the example I use here often is, is road cycling. So I'm a road cyclist and I spend a stupid amount of money on buying kit and all, all sorts of things. And you can't advertise that on TV. The wastage is 99% or more. And so these platforms like, like Facebook, um, they're platforms where you can actually find people in that category and where advertising was previously unviable, where otherwise it would be about having a physical presence or showing up at trade shows or showing up at events. It would be you know, putting yourself in proximity to cycling news and, and, and so on. Previously, that just wasn't possible. So it's this kind of making media possible for, small, for smaller um, markets. I think that's, that's where there's a clear opportunity. I think where the where the debate is, I'll, I'll go through the example first before taking sides. Um, the the I think where the debate is is the idea that that hyper targeted marketing should make marketing more efficient for big companies where you actually need to target pretty much the whole market. Like if you're selling coke or you're selling um, bread or selling insurance or your your general bank or something like that and there it's much less clear because there you know the hyper targeting would only work if the strength of one message resonating with an individual is strong enough that it justifies the cost the cost increase of, of doing hyper targeting and i've not seen much evidence to suggest that that that's a, a valuable tactic